you might not know this, but I was playing video games for a long, long time before I even made or even considered making YouTube videos. And one of the ones that I played not long before I started making videos was a game called Splitgate. Splitgate was an arena shooter in a time when we actually didn't have that many. And it was made by a small indie dev team and it blew up and took over the world. Um, a big part of the reason it got really popular was the servers couldn't handle that many players playing. So it felt like a privilege to be able to get on. And if all the boys could get, not, get on at the same time, it was crazy fun. The concept was advanced movement there was portals like in the game portal that could allow you to connect two spots on the map and you could jump through seamlessly all while taking on gunfights it was an incredibly fun game to play um but they announced that they were going to be ending support for the game long term because the way it was built didn't support their ability to continue improving the game so they announced that they wouldn't shut the game down straight away but they wouldn't be continuing to actively work on it other than bug squashes um but the developer today has announced their new game split gate 2 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in we're gonna watch the trailer we're gonna react to the trailer and then i'm gonna give you my thoughts about the new game right let's get into the trailer okay very very traditional style map Oh. What's the point of putting your life on the line if you're not having a little fun? Okay. They're giving it more of a sport feel. If you're not willing to sacrifice everything, then you don't want it. Oh. So we've got a couple of characters. It looks like. Oh. Oh, is it like a a hero? That looks like a move. Okay. It looks pretty. Obviously, it's just a cinematic trailer. This is probably, or definitely won't be what the game itself looks like. But I'm liking the style that they're at least targeting. Showing off the range of cosmetics they'll be selling, I'm sure. Okay. Deployable portal. Interesting. Wall hacks. Oh, this is what we're talking about. The flying through the portals with momentum was the biggest thing ever. There's parts of the map you could only get to by. F oh, was that a homing rocket? Like this, dropping down into a portal to get the momentum to get up high was really cool. Wait, what? Gun splits? Pardon? You should. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you eating chat's funny. Okay. Awesome. So come in 2025, all platforms, including old gen consoles, which is huge. Okay. There's a couple of bits I want to grab onto here. There's a couple of bits I want to grab onto here. So first off this bit here it looks like so it's almost like a sports vibe to it so obviously you've got his jetpack he's signing stuff but the character models for him the woman and the dude the other dude the, yeah this dude are very different so i wonder if it's like kind of like the finals which i've played a little bit of where they've got small medium and large characters or i think or it might be small medium and heavy i can't remember and like they each have like more health but they move slower and stuff like that i wonder if that's a little bit what's playing into here or if it's just straight up classes because later on we see abilities don't we this is the later on we see these abilities here so when they come out into the and they start we see this guy throws down like a ballistic shield this guy throws like a, a drop portal because that's not how the portals normally work. And then that other, the female character had like the, the wall hacks. Then you've got these gadgets that go along with it as well. One sec, what was the guy's? So he's done that. We've seen that ability. 
We've seen her ability. Does he use any equipment here? Maybe his ability is like armor piercing rounds. And then we've got like that boomerang thing, that like gravity bomb. Unless the rocket launcher is his ability, like the homing rocket launcher is his ability. Then he's got this gun which splits in two. I don't know if that's just a new style thing though. For like switching switch into your secondary. So it seems like each character might have their own equipment, have their own ability and have their own special gun. But I don't know if... I don't know what plays into that exactly. Because she's got a different... They, they've all got different guns there. And the only one that seems familiar to me is the one he was using, which was the battle rifle from the original game. So I'm really curious about that. Um, the maps look really similar um, this, in this style. Um, and the game's obviously being made in Unreal Engine 5, which is huge for developers. It allows them to do so much with so little, in want of a better word. It's a really, really well-supported system and well-regarded system um, that a lot of developers have switched to. So, hopefully that also means it will run really, really well. Um, the fact that it's being made for old gens could be a negative or a positive. The positive side of that is, it should mean even if you have a weaker PC, your PC should be able to handle it. Um, but it does mean it probably won't be as phenomenal as it could potentially be, because obviously it's having to cater to a lower common denominator. And what we say when we talk about that is, if you imagine... Everyone can manage 30 FPS at 1080p. Then that's going to be your lowest. But there are obviously people who could run higher than that. And are they going to cater to allow them people to do that? Or are they just going to go, no, this is how it runs. Is the only kind of thing you might be worried about. Or do they go, right, let's get rid of people who could only do 1080p at 30 FPS, which would be like your old gen consoles. And the, we're going to go, the target is 120 at 1440, for instance. Um, and then that's what they aim for, which means the graphics look better because they know they're going to be run at a, a higher lower threshold, meaning they need to be better to make up for that. Um, I'm very excited for this game, um, providing nothing else comes out and takes all my time, like maybe a GTA 5 um, or GTA 6 rather. Um, me and the boys will absolutely try and split gate when it comes out. We loved the first one so much. Um, so I'm really, really excited for this second one and hopefully it can live up to its branding. And it's really cool to see what is essentially a very young IP um, release second game that is so, so exciting. But that's my thoughts on the new Splitgate sequel. Let me know what you think down below. And if you haven't already, consider liking and subscribing. It's completely free, doesn't cost you a penny, but helps out a bunch. And if you change your mind later, you can always undo it. Bye.